Hi, this is Mr. Cardoso and this is video lesson 5. Um, in this program, we are going to demonstrate how we can make programs more interactive by gathering information from the user. So this program is all about gathering input. So let's go ahead and call this, let's name our class, input in Java. Again, I open the class and I close the class below. Okay, so now uh, I want to ask the user for some information. So let's say, for example, I say uh, int, I declare a variable, age. And I want to get that information from the user. So I want to say to the user, um, system, I have to give them a command, system.out.println. And then I say, please enter your age. Okay. Now, if I run this as is, so I've declared this variable age, and I've, I've done this, right now, all that's going to happen is it's going to say to the user, please enter your age, and then the program's going to end. There's no command that, that tells the, the uh, input to stop, to tell the computer stop, get something, gather something from the user. So I press compile right here. Again, it's going to ask me to save it, so I save it. Um, and it says the local, there's a warning again, the local variable age is never read. So we never, we never do anything with this variable age as our warning. It's not a compiler error, but so I can run it. And then you, again, you can see it says, please enter your age. And the program is pretty much over. Okay, so it's, there's no chance to actually get that information from the user. Now, gathering input in Java is actually um, quite a complicated thing. Um, there's a few lines of code, um, more lines of code, you know, at this point that you would have to take on faith. So in order to avoid that, you can see already that you've got a few lines of code here that we have to take on faith so far. So to avoid that, um, I've created uh, another program that can help you gather input. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to Moodle. So here I have my uh, Moodle page open and at the top you're going to see this in.java file okay. what you're going to do is you're going to download this file into any working directory where you currently are working on your Java program okay. and where you need to gather, gather input so I'm going to click on that if I click on that I think it's going to open the code so and once we clicked on it we right click and we put save as and there we have it and we go to the C drive ICS3U and then exercise. So you're going to say, so this is where I'm currently working, output in or input in Java. So I want to save it into that folder. Um, you, so you should save it into your folder where you're currently working and you need to get input in that program. Okay, so once I've saved it into that directory, I can come back here and let's just make sure I go file open. And you can see I've got the in.java file in the same location or the same folder where I'm currently working on input in Java. Okay, So I don't need to open that, I'm going to hit cancel. I just wanted to make sure that it's in the same directory, same folder. Now, to gather that input from the user, I go in, or sorry, uh, age equals, because I want to put what the user gives me, I want to put it into this variable called age. So I say age equals in which was the name of the the class name of that file, if you recall, it was called in.java. So in dot get int. So that's the command that's going to stop the computer and say, wait, get some information from the user and store it again like an assignment statement. Take whatever's done here and put it into this variable. Okay. So now if we compile that. And we run it. So if you're unlucky like me, um, it didn't work. And the reason why it didn't work is it doesn't know what this in is. So what we need to do is we need to open that file in .java, and we just need to compile it first. So just make sure that that compiles. Okay, now you can go back to your other program. Again, you can use this left part here of the screen to navigate back and forth between open programs. And now you compile this one. 
and you press run. Okay, and there, now it's working. So it says, please enter your age, and now you can see the program is actually waiting um, for you to enter something. So if I put, for example, 7, um, then that 7 is now going here, and in turn, that is going into age. So now age has the, um, the number 7 in it. So I can prove that by going back to my code and going system dot out dot print ln and then I can just type in here age again no quotations this time because I just want to see what's inside the variable if I put quotations around age then the actual word age would come out so I'll compile again and now I press run so it says please enter your age now I'm going to type in a different number so let's put 18 if I put 18 in here then 18 should come out in here. So I press enter, oops, wrong place, press enter, let's click down here, press enter, and there you have it, age is 18. Okay, um, let's try this again, and we can do this, so this is get int, that will get an integer from the command line, uh, and this will just output it back out to the screen. Let's make another variable um, called, for example, string. Uh, let's make a string name, semicolon, and let's do that again. So let's get two inputs this time. So we'll say system out print ln. Please enter your name. And I'll say name because name is the name of my variable. Name, and that's where I want to put this one. Name is equal to in dot get string. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to type in a word. So again, there's in.getInt, there's in.getString, and the other one would be in.getDouble. So I won't, uh, I won't put it here, but uh, I won't actually do it, but it, the command would be in.getDouble. Okay, if you needed to get a, a number with decimals. And of course, then you would have to store that in a double variable. So there we have that, and now we can say, for example, let's make this output more interesting. Let's say, um, hi, to the person, and put their name in it. So, so we can say, hi, close quotation, and put a plus sign, and put name. Okay, so that's going to say hi, it's going to put hi to the screen, and then here it's actually going to put what's inside the name, so whatever name that the user decides to put in there. And let's put another plus sign to add some more text, and then we'll say, you are, we'll put close quotations, and then we'll put the age, and then we'll put another plus sign, and we'll put, oops, and we'll put years, and we'll put years old. Okay, so here we've done, um, so we've gotten the input, we've asked the user for their age, we've stored it, so that, that's that command, we've stored it in age, we've asked the user to put their name in, and using in.getString, we've stored that here in name. So now we say hi, and then name. So we have to join, always remember to join what we actually want to print to the screen here with the variables, what's inside the variables, and we have to use the plus signs to do that. Um, and so we've, we've put another variable here, so you are, and then this is a placeholder, so whatever age they put in there, like five, you are five years old. Okay, so that's uh, holding the place. So we uh, compile this and I get uh, error. Okay, so uh, the error that I have here is um, I typed print ln wrong. So print ln. So I compile this. There we go. Compilation completed. And now I press run. So now if I run it, it's saying please enter your age. And I say 24, for example. And it says, let's let's bring this up so we have more space. It's giving a lot of space. Please enter your name. And I type in Steve. And it says, hi, Steve. You are 24 years old. Okay, so that output is not perfect. Let's take a look at why what happened. So it says, hi, and then Steve. So because we typed in Steve here, it wrote Steve in this place. Now, it didn't leave a space. So let's go ahead and uh, craftily put a space here. Maybe we can put a comma even and make this lowercase y 
and then I think everything else is okay. Maybe just put a period here, and that might look a little bit better. So let's compile that and run it this time again. So it's asking for the age. Let's put 30, and let's put here um, Kobe, and it says, Hi Kobe, you are 30 years old. So you can see how we're getting some input from the user and then displaying it using string concatenation with the plus signs, joining um, actual messages that will always be there with things that will change, i.e. variables. Okay, which are placeholders. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that lesson.